Follow me on the day in the week of a fire engineer part 2. Woke up nice and early from the slumber, wiped the crust from the eyes, then checked the view. Not too bad. I think it's time to freshen up. Quick little shower, nice little sneak peek. There you go. And get in the cabbie, you head to site. And yeah, you know, we had to start the morning with the Liverpool style English breakfast. And voila, we're inside the building. So today we're going to be conducting a fire resistance assessment to understand how the building would perform if a fire was present. And to do this, I'm using what we call a ferris scanner. Because it's still literally day one of the project life cycle i'm having to myself manually remove the drop ceiling to then gain access to the soffit now these guys requested to actually examine all of the structural elements so not just the soffit but also looking at the columns and beams so we realized most of the columns were boarded up to actually hide the wiring they had running up to the ceiling so we had the gentleman open them up to give us access to the faces of the columns at this point now, i'd already made my way up and down the entire face of the building about three four times now and fun fact this was actually a 10-story building so you could imagine the leg pump I was getting. No more leg day for the next two weeks. And then I come across what looked like some historical posters and I could only imagine they were giving out history lessons in this place. I guess they wanted to remind the common folks of the Liverpool history. Pause to read. At this point my legs have been defeated. Pause and I'm calling it a day. Make the way back to the hotel now, get in a cab, forget to record of course. I arrive, get in the lift, up to the hotel and then I'm in Nando somehow. How? Back to my room now, watch some documentaries and just like that another 